face. Come and grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. One more to go here. That last lesson got your blood pumping, didn't it? Ready for more? Sure, bring it. You're almost ready to graduate from the Temple of Beating, but there's still a handful of tricks left to show you. Why don't we step into the ring for your final lesson? Some adversaries you encounter will have attacks with lingering properties. These effects are called status effects. Take, for instance, the Bindle Bag. When you throw one at an enemy, they will experience a burn status effect until the flames go out. The same is true if someone nails you with one, too. Here, take these bindle bags and test them out on our friend here. Okay, these are basically grenades. And they work really nicely. Using the item icons, click on the bindle bag and select the robo target icon. Nice. Looks like you blew off some of his fiddly bits. As you can see, status effect items make excellent weapons in battle. But with better weapons comes the need for better defense. That's where shield cells come in. Shield cells give you an extra layer of protection, forcing your enemies to chew through your shields before they get to you. I'll let you borrow an old shield cell for training purposes, but don't even think about running off with it. Even my worst shield cell is worth more than everything you own, except maybe the life cursor. As with other weapons and equipment, shield cells must be equipped before battle. Alright, let's test this sucker out. Notice that before you were using these shield cell, you had 200 health, but now you have 40 more hit points. This extra health is from the shield. Let me activate the robot target so you can test your personal shield in action. Shoot him. See? He barely managed to scrape you that time. The shield took the brunt of the beating. It's the last and most important advice I'm going to give you. Invest in a shield pack. Now give it back before you forget to return it. We're done with the lessons, I think. And with that, I send you off into the great, big, wonderful world of beating strangers, my boy. Whackmaster Jack can teach you no more. Anything else you're going to learn, you got to earn at the cost of your own blood out there in the field where it counts. Give and take, cut and thrust, make them bray and never be afraid to shoot them in the ding-dong. Take care, kid. Don't die dumb or anything, although in your case, I guess that's inevitable. Pleasant journeys. That's a rough world. Not a lot of friendly people in Anachronox, are there? Let's see what this guy has to say here. That's it, kid. We're done. No more. Party's over. Go out and conquer the world. Okay, now we can progress. Pet the time minder here. turn where do I get out of here oh shit lots of samey hallways here easy to get lost here we go we're out Let's go exploring. Mystech Museum, Rowdies and Zordos. What's this way? OK, 
Okay, we've already come from this area. Hmm. There's a way to get out of here, Fountain. I have to go where that one guy was guarding the passageway. This game was made with the Quake 2 engine. And uh, when it was released in 2001, it was already kind of borderline on the graphics. The art direction is really, really nice, but the technology was kind of outdated when this game came out. And that guy's gone, so I guess I'm going to go here. This game was in development for a long time. I think it was like three and a half, four years, something like that. And uh, so when they chose the Quake 2 engine... The Quake 2 engine was new, but it, by the time this game came out in 2001, Quake 3 had already been out for, I think, a couple of years. But, uh, I mean, the game is still pretty nice looking, actually. Just art direction is great. Let's talk to this guy. Vertigo. Here. Now. So dizzy. Must breathe deep. I tried to walk up the sloped green graph path that leads to Kassanox just around this corner, but as soon as I felt myself walking up the wall, I panicked and kicked off. Its relative gravity system is madness. When I look up and see people walking on the ceilings, it just breaks my mind. It reminds me too much of Madeline. The key is to stay on the same plane. Oh, here we go. Fight time. It's our first real fight. Ooh, I might get killed in this battle. Because he just hit me big time. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Let's go back to where we just were. Do I have a shield cell here to equip? No, I don't. Doesn't look like it, at least. Alright. Let's try this again, y'all. Here we go. Got it in that time. Didn't do much damage, though. We need to use a heal grease right away here. Hope he dies in two hits. Maybe he can... Maybe I can make it one more hit. Oh, I should have used my screen. Let me see if I can kill him in one more hit here. do it? Nope. I'm dead. Party killed in battle. Yep. Sure was. Wrong one. Let's go up here. 